Welcome back. Okay, I feel silly doing all these in order and I haven't changed clothes because I'm still standing here in my room teaching. But anyway, contingency tables, guys. What we are looking at here is a tabular form of data where you've got multivariables and so you can pick different things. So we've all seen these before also. We need to make sure we do it correctly though. So here's our example for this one. Let's say we've got three schools. Let's call it Mana, um, Tawa and Aotea. All right, and we're looking at um, the enrolments in sport. So we're looking at basketball, rugby, and football. All of which aren't having any sport at the moment, but that's okay. Let's look at how many would have enrolled. So we're going to ask their sports coordination. They're going to give us a whole lot of information. So we're going to say 58, 96, 49, um, 60, 110, and 106. No bias here towards any sport, of course. Artea, basketball, 48. Rugby, 84. Football, uh, 78. Okay, pretty horrible sort of numbers, but that's, but that's who's enrolled, and they're going to make teams out of them. So what we're actually saying here is, can we use this to answer some probability questions? And we can, of course. The first thing we need to do is make sure we add up across and down all the columns. So we need to add them up. So we've got 107, 197, 197, 203. I hope that's right. Okay. 170, 276, I should have picked smaller numbers, um, 48 and 132, 202, 210. I'll check these in a minute. Okay, so going across words, we've got 108, 158, 166. We've got 206, 286, 290, and we've got 155, 163, 233, and do those add up. 6, 9, 15, and 3 makes 18, and 6. Yeah. No. Yep, no. So both ways, so I'm pretty confident that that's right. So now we've got all our numbers we can play with. So the sort of questions we're going to get, we have to be very careful about what the group is, so what the sample set is, what is the group it's actually out of. So let's have a look at some questions. What's the probability that a student picked at random uh, plays rugby? All right, so there's no mention of schools here. We don't have to worry about the schools. We're just interested in rugby out of all the students. So our answer is going to be 290 over 689. No trying to simplify, just leave it like that. What is the probability that a student picked at random comes from Tawa? Okay, so we're not interested in the sport this time. Just who comes from Tara, 276 out of uh, 689, all right? Or perhaps we've got the probability of um, a student coming from Tawa and playing football. All right, so we're looking at Tawa, football, 110 out of 689. Okay, so that's pretty easy. What happens now is we get the situation 
of them saying, well, actually, we already know something. What's the probability of this? Well, it's just the same table. So an example of this would be, what's the probability that a Tao student plays football? All right, so now we're only interested in the Tawa column here. So football, 106. Okay, that's wrong, isn't it? So that should be 106. So 106 over 276. 106 over 276. All right? So the denominator has gone down because of our choice that we've already been given, the Tao student. Or we can have something like probability that a basketball player comes from our tap. So we're interested in the basketball row here, and we're interested in a tier. So 48 out of 166. All right, so we have to narrow it down each time. Okay, so that's contingency tables. Probably going to um, send you through a copy of some work to do. So have a go at that. Um, and we'll see you soon.